Hey guys, Abs here. I'm going to be taking you through a demonstration of our Meme Scraper. It's a brand new tool that scrapes very popular sites where users host images on and they share them on there. What this allows you to do is actually pull back image content, keeping the description, keeping the author link should you wish, um, and keeping the title as well, which you can later use to fill up your Tumblr blogs or you can fill up your Pinterest blogs or so sorry, your Pinterest accounts or your own blogs as well. Now, the reason it's a fantastic idea or the reason that these images or the images that the tool scrapes are fantastic is well I'll actually show you and you can make a decision for yourself um, to see exactly why they work so good so for example I'm on image gear this is one of the sites that the software scrapes um, and if you have a look at this on image gear you've actually got image gear and you've got cheeseburger I'll be taking you over to cheeseburger in a moment um, I know it sounds a little bit funny but it isn't the burger it's actually a website and with image gear it scrapes the hot top new and past category as well it allows you to scrape and choose basically how many images you you want to scrape for each category now images on here get refreshed every single day and as you're fully aware especially if you're going to be scraping new ones um, and with cheeseburger you've got hundreds and hundreds of subdomains that you can scrape as well and i'll be talking you through this in a moment so let's just take a look at some of these images that get scraped so for example these are the most viral ones these will be found in the top category or the hot category and now if you have a look at this this just says my daughter is evil uh, very short description um, but it works perfectly with this image and now obviously this daughter here is actually spraying this other little boy here and this boy doesn't like it he's off I don't know he's gone crying away and she's laughing uh, which is fairly fairly funny and if you have a look at the amount of views that this is this has had this is at 1 million um, 35,335 views I hope I've actually got that wrong uh, I hope that I've got that right um, and then if you have a look here it actually tells you how many likes it's had as well so it's had 3,870 likes so you can be sure that users on the internet that are searching social media sites are actually loving this image and this and this description as well that goes with it so what the tool allows you to do is actually go ahead and scrape these images save them over to a csv file or save over the actual image url sorry the actual image as well depending on what you choose from here um, and then you can later use these in the pr traffic booster as explained earlier um, so it, you know it's, it's entirely what you you think about how you're going to be working with these images um, but what this allows you to do is actually scrape images assign descriptions with them images as well and also keeping the author disc author intact as well so you can pass over the author attributes uh, if you want to that's entirely up to you um, so anyway let's see how it works I mean let's have a look at the second site sorry we'll go over to cheeseburger if you have a look at cheeseburger this is cheeseburger.com as you can see this has actually got a page rank of 6 of 10 and with cheeseburger what you'll find is you'll actually find it has many many subdomains um, now you can actually scrape from the actual cheeseburger site itself so you can enter cheeseburger in here cheeseburger.com and it'll actually scrape the cheeseburger website or you can enter subdomains in here as well and it'll also scrape the subdomains as well based on the settings you enter in here as well so let's just take a look at what we can do we can actually go over to Google if you type in site um, and then you've got the colon then you've got cheeseburger.com um, what you'll find is you'll find many many URLs for here now I haven't actually you can get more clever with this as well and set up the actual search so that you only find subdomains subdomains that aren't profile pages like some of these here you'll find to be profile pages um, let me give you an example I'll just type in cheeseburger.com with cheeseburger.com um, I'm gonna go over to more results from cheeseburger.com and as you can see we've got loads and loads of um, like uh, subdomains down here and with these subdomains are all gonna have their own page rank on there as well so for example it's got a 5 out of 10 it's you can think of it as your own tumblr kind of blog on cheeseburger um, well the way cheeseburger works is roughly the same as the way tumblr works as well um, whereby it gives you your own subdomain as your actual blog URL um, so this guy obviously has got some personalization on here um, it's a fantastic blog you can see how these guys are you, you know working with this and why users love it as you can see it gets shared quite a bit on Facebook and what you can do is enter URLs like this inside of the tool um, and tell the tool how many URLs you how many um, images you want to scrape per blog you can also tell the software how many threads you want to use um, now obviously with the threads the max it can use on image gear is going to be four, four per, one per category um, but and, and the max it can use on cheeseburger obviously it's dependent on how many different um, 
cheeseburger subdomains you enter in here. So I'm going to give you an example of this in action, but as you can see, it's very cool. You can get some real cool descriptions with this, um, and you can get some real cool images with this, which are going to really, really help um, with you know with you having content to work with uh, from the get go. Okay, so let's take a look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to hot and I'll go to hot and top. I'll scrape hot and top, um, and what I'll do, I'll download the no. What I'll do, I'll save only the image URL. I'll also save the image title and description. I'm not going to save the author for this example, um, and we want to the past, and we'll say okay, we want a hundred images from each category. Uh, we'll work with two threads, okay, and I'm going to save image data to a file because obviously I'm not saving the actual download I'm not actually saving the image so I'm going to save the image data to a file so I'm going to click on select and what I'm going to do is I'm going to okay I've got this saved and scraped images I'm going to go to new demo okay and click on save and I'm going to click on start and you'll see the count there. So as you can see, that's gone over to 200 straight away, fairly quickly that was. And the reason it's done it real quick, guys, is because we're actually saving to a file and not saving to folder. Um, and that's gone over to start again. I can actually open that folder. Oops, let me go and find that scrape folder and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, here we go. And we saved it to new demo. And if I open this up, guys, what you'll see is I can actually maximize these fields. What you'll see, we've got the image URL now which we can use straight into, for example, Tumblr. And then at the same time, what we've got is we also have the description for each image. So for example, my daughter is evil. That should match with that image that we saw just a moment ago. So I'll actually go over to that image URL. And here we go. And the description that we had with this, which we saw on Image Girl a moment ago, is my daughter is evil. Fantastic. And that's exactly what we've got here now. Now, if you wanted to work and work with these in the PR Traffic Booster, for example, let me open up the PR Traffic Booster folder. I'll show you how to work with it. OK, so here's the PR Traffic Booster. Uh, what we'll be doing with the PR Traffic Booster, obviously, is we'll go over to Edit Group. Nope, we'll go over to Advanced Settings, for example. We'll go over to Image Video Upload. And we'll be using this field here, import CSV um, from import caption tags with images. Now, let me just open this up and I'll show you how it works. Now, we're not going to be using this CSV file. What we're going to do, be doing instead is opening up the PR Traffic Booster folder and having a look for a, um, having a, look for a CSV file called template.csv. Now, we open this template.csv file up. Oops. OK, here we go. So we've got this um, template.csv file that comes inside of the PR Traffic Booster folder. Now, as you can see, you, also, you already have the headings here. Um, so all you do is enter whatever you want to enter um, near each one. So, for example, I'm going to go over to this new demo file that we've done. Um, now, the image URL, I'll, for example, I'll scrape. Let, let's just say I'll save 100 of them. And I'll save these over. And what I'll do, I'll add this into the template.csv file under image URL, starting from the second line, obviously keeping the header intact. Image path, because I'm not uploading from the actual, from my computer, we leave this blank. The description, I'll be looking and adding in the same description. So I'll go to new demo and I'll get the first 100 on here as well. So we're going to match the descriptions, which is exactly what I want to do. And then we'll enter that into the descriptions. Now you've got a choice here. You can visit each image URL that you like. Um, so for example, this image you can, this is called headshot, for example. Let's just go over to this image URL. And what you could do with this is you could have a look at it and say, yeah, all right, well, you know what? I'm gonna add the tags cat, snow, funny, meme, I don't know, versus, or, or, or whatever you wanna do, or, you know, cat snowball fight, or whatever you think are gonna be good tags to tag this with. Um, alternatively, what you can do is you can just close it out. You can save it over, close it out. Um, and what the software will actually do then is work based on your settings that you have here. So how many tags do you want to actually enter into the, into, um, the actual post? And it'll choose random tags from here. And if you want to add a click-through link, you can add click-through links to each one of these. If you don't add a click-through link, then the software will use a random click-through link from here. Alternatively, you'll use your own Tumblr URL, depending on what you've got set up. So this allows you now to actually go ahead and scrape images in mass and with descriptions as well. And obviously, um, if you did opt to actually scrape the, um, let's take a look, the actual author image, then what you could do um, is combine that with 
for example, let's take a quick look at the template. You could combine it with the description. So, for example, with the description we've got here, headshot, what you could do is enter the author description here with that as well if you wanted to. And the software will actually enter that as the caption when you enter, when you're adding that image, uh, which is fantastic. Then all you do is save this over. So, for example, we've got this as CSV. I'm going to save this. OK, I'm going to not save this. And I'm going to go over to the PR Traffic Booster now, for example. And I'm going to go to Images. I'm going to go to CSV and and I've got it inside of personal and then I've got it in template and as you can see straight away it's picked up that we've got 99 URLs inside of there with image descriptions and captions all assigned to them which is fantastic um, and that's exactly what we're looking to do um, and the software will now use the CSV file um, and it will start adding based on whatever settings you enter in here and this allows you to go and grab URLs and sorry grab images and grab descriptions very popular ones by the way don't get me wrong they're not just any old images um, they're actually images that get shared you know a lot but with cheeseburger obviously you will need to have a look for your blogs um, and all you do with cheeseburger is exactly the same so for example you load your blogs I've got some blogs in here cheeseburger as you can see they show up in here and then I can tell the software how many images I want from each blog how many threads to use again I've only got two URLs in here so it's gonna be two threads um, and I'm gonna tell the software okay save image URL save image title and this time I'm gonna call it to demo, to new demo, and I'll click on start, and you can see the progress down here, how many images we've actually scraped. So this is actually visiting each of these URLs. Um, so this one takes a little bit longer, uh, just because of the way we have to actually visit the URLs. And again, guys, you can work with proxies as well. You can use proxies from there, enter your proxies inside of here, import them from CSV file, exactly like our other tools. You can test your proxies as well, and you can tell the software to use proxies. As you can see, that's gone over to start. That's saved over as 200. We can go over to our scraped images folder. We can go to two new demo. Here we go. We can open this up and you can actually see we've got all URLs from cheeseburger.com. Now these are actually image URLs, even though it doesn't say .jpg or .png on there. If you actually go in here, as you can see, it's the actual image URL that gets used. And all these images are fantastic, especially if you're using um, some real cool cheeseburger um, websites. Um, alternatively, guys, as mentioned, you can actually enter just cheeseburger.com in here. So you could leave it like this. and tell the software here and there you go it's working with cheeseburger.com takes a little bit longer guys obviously working with one thread as mentioned it really depends with cheeseburger how many urls you're working with on how the threads are going to work um so this is exactly how it works guys very cool software gets you really well gets you some fantastic content to share around on your social media accounts uh which they're now going to um, you know, send you over the traffic that you're looking for. So this is going to um, come out to you um, and you'll find instructions on this page how to get hold of it. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy working with this tool.